Jamaican inspired jerk pasta. Today's shout out goes to Cook with Ada. She has a growing cooking channel with some amazing recipes. She recently made a fried rice pineapple boat and it looks so good. Her channel link is in the description box below. So let's all go ahead and show her some support. Today I'm going to be making Jamaican inspired rasta pasta or a jerk pasta i'm doing it my way before we get started please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up comment down below and make sure you're subscribed to my channel for more videos here i have smoked turkey sausage you can use any meat you would like rather it be jerk chicken or jerk shrimp but i'm using sausage so i'm going to start off by slicing up the sausage Here I have one tablespoon of minced garlic, one and a half cups of heavy whipping cream, or coconut milk if you're looking for an authentic Jamaican flavor. A cup of sliced peppers and onions and two cups of shredded Parmesan. I also have my Tony's. I'm going to sprinkle some of that. You got to have that Tony's. I also have a one tablespoon of the Walker's Wood Wet Jerk Seasoning. I would not recommend the hot and spicy if you do not like spicy food. It's really hot. I'm also using one to two tablespoons of the Jamaican inspired powdered jerk seasoning. All right, we're gonna start off by heating some olive oil in our skillet. Now we're gonna cook our onions and peppers. Then we're gonna add our sausages and cook those as well. Now we're just sauteing the peppers, onions, and sausages together. While you're doing this, you want to boil you some pasta noodles. I have mine boiling right now and when our sauce is finished, we will add those in. All right, after about five minutes or so, we're gonna add our minced garlic and mix. All right, now I'm gonna add my powdered jerk seasoning and mix. One to two tablespoons should work. As you can see, it's starting to get that jerk look to it with the dark color. All right, at this point, you're gonna go ahead and add a tablespoon of your wet seasoning, either hot and spicy or mild jerk seasoning. And you're just gonna mix it all together. Sauteing the sausage and peppers should only take about 15 minutes. And then you're gonna go ahead and prepare your sauce. All right, now we're gonna add about a cup of the heavy whipping cream or coconut milk, your choice. You can always do more if you would like. Now we're just gonna mix it all together. I also wanna note that I'm cooking this on a medium setting. We're gonna thicken our sauce by adding the Parmesan cheese. We're adding two cups of Parmesan cheese. All right, we're gonna go ahead and mix it all together until it's completely melted. You will notice that the sauce will become thick, but don't worry, we're gonna thin it out by adding our other half of heavy whipping cream or coconut milk, whichever one you used. We're also gonna add half a cup of chicken broth. This will keep it flavorful while thinning it out, so that was 
half a cup of your heavy whipping cream and half a cup of chicken broth and mix. You're gonna mix it until it has a creamy consistency. This is how we want it to look, nice and creamy and bubbly. We're gonna go ahead and sprinkle some Tony's for that extra kick. All right, now we're gonna mix that all together. I also wanna note that this is really good with chicken. If you watch my chicken Alfredo recipe, I made a blackened chicken. If you go to that video, take the ingredients list and add jerk seasoning to the chicken and cook it and top this pasta with that chicken, it is so good. Try my blackened chicken recipe along with this one. It's so good. All right, when you see it begin to bubble, you know that your sauce is finished. You can taste it and see if you need to add anything else to it but it should be just fine. I'm gonna get ready to add my drained pasta noodles into the sauce. You don't have to, you can leave it to the side and just top your noodles with the sauce and the sausage, but I choose to add it in. So I'm gonna add my noodles in and mix it all together. You wanna mix it well so that the noodles absorb all of the sauce mix. You want it to be very flavorful all throughout the pasta. All right, when it's mixed well, we're gonna go ahead and top it with some parsley. And here is the final product. It was so flavorful, kind of spicy, but delicious. If you like this, please give me a comment down below. Make sure you're liking this video and make sure you subscribe to my channel to stay tuned for more recipes. As always, thank you so much for your support and I hope you stay for more. I also wanna mention that my Instagram and TikTok is linked below in the description box. You can go there for more videos.